Good days and hello everyone. <laughs> Once again, me AG and welcome back to another episode of One Piece Bond Josh Gameplay video. And today we have new uh, character Uta from Red Film and it was from uh, Atramin from Panlima Alliance. So without wasting our time, let's learn about her skill. Her skill is of skill one is long range area attack with chance to inflict sing sing with a stagger for set period of time. Uh, skill attack is 427, activation for the sing is 100%, cooldown for this skill is 25 seconds. Her skill 2, a long range air charge area attack with knockback effect with high critical hit chance. Skill attack is 154, uh, cooldown for this skill is 34 seconds. Mm, and acquire defense debuff at level 5. Okay, let's learn about Uta character trait. When spawning, acquire defensive shield, 10% of max HP. A defensive shield that allow you to avoid taking damage or the accompanying effect and inflicted stagger to the enemy who attack you. When enemy are inflicted with Sing Sing, recover durability, defensive shield by 50%, restore the shield if was destroyed. So pretty similar like Soba Max. When your allies from your team is KO, crit boost by 300% for 20 seconds uh, and it, this crit is cannot stack, so unlike with Luffy. So that's about his character trait, let's learn about his trait one first. When attacking an enemy in the area around your enemy treasure, increase damage deep by 30%. When attacking an enemy inflicted with Sing Sing, Increase damage deep by 30% and you can recover HP by 10% So in order to recover HP, you must have inflicted the enemy with Sing Sing Trait 2, when the critical occur, reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 15% And when your HP is more than 70%, reduce damage received by 30% Alright, so he have reduced damage uh, trait um, so guys, uh, without wasting our time, let's go to the Ucha Survival 100 courtesy of Ultramin. So let's go! So she have a very sweet voice. <laughs> okay, from it, I can see that his her basic skill have a, a dash forwards, uh, which is very very good uh, for a character that uh, don't, if you don't want to waste your dodge and uh, you can use your basic attack to kind of like move forwards and uh, that's very very helpful that was very very great character so he using his skill too here okay let's talk about uh, Uta right so this guy, in in order to recover HP, he must inflicted his her enemy with the Sing Sing's ability. So I think the biggest problem for Uta is gonna be um, Akainu, Zypher, and Kaido. If Zypher using his skill one and in his own treasure area. It's kind of like big hard for Uta uh, to fight against Zypher and with Kaido it's the same situation also and against Akainu uh, yeah if you cannot if you ran out of your dodge uh, your shield will save you from uh, Akainu um, Inugami Guren and Ryu Kazen uh, which is very helpful, but in order to do to break a kind of shield with he, her basic attack skill, uh, I think it's kind of hard. And also, I think uh, she have to be careful with the Luffy uh, skill, um, which is uh, Luffy have a multiple hit attacks, which is can destroy. Uh, Uta defensive shield uh, very easy. Uh, okay, one, two. Okay, nice. Uh, also, as we all knew that um, Japan Japan server has the upper advantage about this Uta banner, right? Okay, nice. <laughs> Okay, it's funny when Uta inflicted the enemy with his with her skill one because it's kind of like a spider web. 
So uh, back to the topic. Back to the topic that Japanese server have uh, advantage uh, with this Uta banner, which is uh, they have the special ticket and they have the guarantee a uh, ticket for Uta uh, for you to get the Uta. But for the global server, there is no guarantee. Uh, you to get Uta even if you uh, spend your 750 gems on Uta banner so it's quite a disadvantage for for us in global server and looks like his Uta skill one is very very fast uh, I think um, Seven wallet checks will do good for for her to survive in the league battle, uh, which is that it can extend times to uh, extend it the sing sing's ability. One, two, three. Okay, guys. Um, I think you can let me know what you think about uh, this Uta from Red Film uh, at the comment uh, section down below. And what do you think of her? Uh, do you summon for her or not? Actually, I try summon for her um, with the multiple pull for for once, but I didn't get a chance. I didn't get lucky enough. <laughs> but yes, I forgot. Do you have seen the the Uta preview gameplay from Bandai? That the last scene of that video have a shanks. Uh, so what do you think of it? Do we really really get do we really 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 get Shang as the the extreme character next or probably do we will have Shanks as a bounty fest character? So what your thought about it? So let me know. <laughs> so I just don't want to lose hope on Shanks but you know uh Shang is like cool character guys so I think I I personally hope that Shang's from Red Kingdom will be released in the game hopefully hopefully and one last thing about that preview video is why they put to be continue the, the hint that to be continue man I I, I do not know man <laughs> I just hoping that we will have uh, shanks in the game to be honest with you guys uh, okay guys uh, once again I have to thanks to Atramin for providing the Uta uh, survival 100 gameplay video for us and I think um, that's it uh, for Uta survival 100 gameplay and with that I'll see you next time in another episode of one piece Bounty gameplay video so see ya bye bye